All right, this is MTG Buddha. Um, we're going to do the Phyrexian event that they've got running. So we built a blue-black uh, flying deck. Basically, all the creatures have flying or some type of evasion. Um, and then with a bunch of kill spells into the deck as well. Um, we'll see how this does. We basically just put kill spells and flying in the deck and going to try to just go over the top of our opponents, hopefully and get them with poison counters. So let's go ahead and see how this goes. Um, I thought about doing um, just a fun deck, but I built a Jota deck, but I have a feeling that everyone's gonna be running decks that wouldn't make it fun to build to do a Jota Singleton deck, although that would be fun to do. It just wouldn't be fun at this event, I'm sure. Um, I don't think I can keep this. I've got four kill spells in hand, but I only have two lands. Um, I do have two uh, of the trial lands in here because of the fact that they do have blue and black on them. And I needed, since you can only have one of each non-basic, uh, I needed more ways to make blue and blue black. Uh, this isn't a lot better, but we will keep it. We do have a little bit better hand going here, so we'll keep it. And we'll actually, we're going to keep... Um, Sheldred, um, or as I like to call him, Sheldon. Um, and then we'll go ahead and let's see. We'll see what becomes a Phyrexian in my hand. Um, evidently, the creature that became a Phyrexian was this one, which is already a Phyrexian. So I think we're going to play the tapped land. So next turn, one of these hopefully will become a Phyrexian, and then I can play it out. And they have flying, so they're they'll have evasion to be able to go in attack. Okay, so he played that. Did it become a Phyrexian? It is not a Phyrexian. All right, so this became a Phyrexian, so we're gonna play it, and then we're just gonna go ahead and play this as well. So if he attacks, I'll block with the non-Phyrexian to get his life linker off the board. But I've got a flying for a team now. So he's going to search for a land. And that won't be a Phyrexian. So next turn I'm going to have access to a kill spell. So the question just kind of becomes, do I want to kill this or do I want to not kill it? So I think what I'm going to do to start is we're just going to attack with both. Um, this is an instant, so I have access to be able to kill it if I need to, or just wait. And if he casts a Phyrexian, I can kill the Phyrexian, which is probably what I'll do. If he casts a creature who is a Phyrexian, then I will kill it. I didn't want to kill this beforehand because when this goes off, he could just bring it back to his, the battlefield if I'd killed this on my turn. I don't care about his life. Um, he can gain life, that's fine. Gaining life doesn't really matter in this event. So, all right, we're going to let that happen, and we are going to kill him. So we got his Phyrexian off the board. All right, we are going to play our land, and we are going to play our own Phyrexian. And we're going to attack. So he gets two more poison counters. So now we've got this, which says, what does the equipment do? All right. Come on, Arena. And Arena is locking up on me. All right, so he's going to Brutal Cathar away my Shellred, which is fine, because I'm just going to kill with that guy. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and kill this. And I get a treasure token, which means that I can go ahead and cast my Phyrexian. And we'll tap this down. 
And you know, we'll just hold this one back because I'm not going to kill him with life. I'm going to kill him with the poison counters. So I need this to survive and this to survive so I can hit him with both of these and he gets four poison counters because it's whenever a creature, right? Yeah. So the fact that this has lifelink doesn't matter to me. It's not flying. As long as he doesn't have a way to block my flying creatures, we're good. Alright. This already has Phyrexian. Alright, I'm going to gain two life. I'm going to go to combat. Attack, attack. Does he have a way to kill one of them? I can play both of these out so I have more Phyrexians. Alright, so we did it. Trigger, trigger. He's dead. Yep. Alright. So yeah, I think the the flying strategy, the the quick flying is a is a good strategy to go with in this event. So we got our first win. Let's go for win number two. I haven't even actually looked at the prizes. I know it's stained glass for the styles, but I don't know what the coins are. I don't know how many wins you have to get to get your coins back. Because it was 2,000 coins to enter the event. So After this, we'll look and see how many wins you have to get to, to get your coins back. But they are adding Quick Draft today. So, um, yeah, I think we keep this. We've got the lands that we need. We can play this guy on turn two. Because we can play one of our, so we can play the tap land, then play this, and then play him on turn two. Yeah, we'll keep this. I think we go first, so. Play this. What got Phyrexians? Oh, well, I didn't have a upkeep, so nothing got Phyrexian. So that's our, that got Phyrexian, but it's already a Phyrexian. So I think we're going to play this creature, which is already a Phyrexian. And then see if maybe this can get Phyrexian next turn. All right, so he's going to exile my Phyrexian. That's fine. I'm not worried about that. All right, so this did get Phyrexian, so that's good. So I'll play it out, and I get to draw a card. So I got another flying creature. So next turn, I can play this if this doesn't get Phyrexian or this doesn't get Phyrexian. Okay, so actually, I think what we want to do is we want to just get rid of this. And we'll attack so we can get our poison counter in. Because his him having a flying creature is not going to be good for us. We got to get that flying creature off. So, does he have a flying creature to back it up? No, but he has that. So he gets to make something cost two more in my hand. What does he make cost two more? Everything in my hand is cheap enough, other than the four mana guy. So. Okay, that's fine. I'm not that worried about that. That's fine. All right, so we are going to start by drawing two cards. All right, and we've got lands. So we will play a land, and then we will play this guy, which is also a Phyrexian. And we will attack. Two more poison counters. All right, next turn, if he doesn't have a flying creature, we can do four poison counters. If he does have a flying creature, we'll kill his flying creature. Yeah, and then he concedes. Yeah, because he sees he's just going to die in a couple turns because he can't block my flyers. So yeah, I think cheap flying creatures is the way to go in this format. Yeah. Evasive. Best way to do it. Alright, so let's see what the rewards were. Okay, so at this point you get a thousand, so you get half of your gold back with two wins. Three wins you get 1,500 and four wins you get 2,500. So there's no way to get exactly 2,000. You either get 500 less if you only have three wins or you get 500 extra if you get four wins. So let's try to get two more wins and see if we can get that four wins and get those card styles. 
And I'm curious if it's different car styles each time, if it if it knows which car styles you have. Like if I did this event multiple times, would I get different rewards each time? Or I'm not sure how that would work. I don't know how many options there are for the card styles that they're giving out. Might be something to look into. I'm not the biggest card style person, but the stained glass is pretty cool looking. If I can get them as part of an event, then, you know, it's not that big a deal. And if this deck rolls through pretty quick, I mean, it might be worth just go ahead and going in and doing another one and saying, hey, look at that. I got all these card styles. But it looks like we're waiting on another person to jump in here. So, yeah, I feel like this is definitely the, the um, strategy, the winning strategy for this event. Going blue black flowers. Because I'm able to get a lot of creatures who are already Phyrexians, like these creatures. Um, I also have the blue and black defilers in the deck, so if I get to that point. Um, I'm going first, so I'm going to play this land. Um, let's see, actually, you know what? We're going to play this land. And then hopefully this will become a Phyrexian next turn. It did not. So we're going to play this land and we're going to play this Phyrexian. We're going to save this until it becomes a Phyrexian. All the creatures in my hand are already Phyrexians. So... Is he got a bounce spell? That's what I'm guessing he's going to do here. Yeah, he's going to bounce my creature. Yeah. So I'm curious if this guy's just playing mono blue. Or if he's got some other color mixed in with it. He's playing blue-black as well. Okay. So. Does this become a Phyrexian? No, it does not. So we are going to play the tap land. And then we're just going to replay this. Does he have a counter spell? Let me guess. He has a counter spell. The question is, if he does, yeah, he does. He was probably trying to decide, well, do I want to make him lose two life? Or, you know, yeah. But that's okay. Next turn, I get to play my Black Defiler. And hopefully he doesn't have a counter spell for it. Or, you know what? Actually, I'm going to play the Tap Land. And I'm going to cast this. And see if he has a counter spell for it. And then I'll cast this. So I'm going to have double I'll tap down his black land. So he's going to kill one of my creatures. That's fine. Kill the one that's not flying. That's okay. I'm fine with that. Because my flying creature will hit you and do poison counters. All right. So I haven't seen any creatures out of his deck so far. So we're going to attack. And we'll see what he does. Okay. No responses to attacking. All right. So in that case, we're going to play our blue defiler. Does he have a counter spell for this? Yes, he does. Of course he does. I don't know how this guy's expecting to win if he doesn't have any creatures. Come on, dude. You're either going to have to play some creatures or something. Or my 1-1 one, one is just going to kill you with poison counters. So let's attack. Do you have a response before attacks? No. Let's do the damage. 
Two more poison counters. Let's play our Black Defiler. What you gonna do now? You got another counter spell? I'm guessing you got another counter spell. Because it seems like that's all you're playing. Is counter spells and bounces. So do you have a counter? Or don't you? You've either got it or you don't, dude. Stop taking so much time. Alright, you got it. Fine. You had a counter spell. Sure. That's fine. You can let my 1 1 kill you. I'm okay with that. Uh, in response, I'm going to cast mine to counter his. Yep, there we go. Alright, let's play a land. Let's pass turn. Yep. So now, he has to kill one of them. Or cast a creature or he's just dead. So the question is, does he have a creature or does he have a kill spell? The fact that my Urtai took his Urtai out, that was pretty fun. Alright, so he's got that, which is fine. So does he have... So is he going to pay? He is... So I am going to counter this, or kill it, now that he's tapped out. And attack for lethal. There we go. Because the Phyrexians killed him. Alright, so his counter magic didn't quite hold up to my blue-black deck. His counter heavy spell deck. Which didn't quite get there. Alright, so... Let's go for win number four. We're going to see if we can go four and O. Oh. Um, I'll be putting the deck list in the comments after I post this. So if you want to try this deck out, you're welcome to go ahead and try it out. Let me know if it gets you your four wins. Um, if you have any losses or how it works out for you. But it seems like this is definitely a really good strategy. I'm sure there's other strategies that probably work as well. But um, I think flying is a good way to go about it. And I kind of like the idea of holding the one drop creatures in my hand that fly. Until I can actually drop them. As Phyrexians. Uh, do I keep... I don't think I keep this. If I had a blue land, this is a definite snap keep. But I don't think I keep this at this point. Yeah, I think I have to mulligan. Alright, so we have lands. Um, let's see. What do I put on bottom? I think we put that on bottom, actually. Yeah, we'll keep that and we'll put the eaten alive on bottom. Um... Yeah, if this does not become a Phyrexian on upkeep, we will play this land. Alright, so that did not become a Phyrexian before he played it. This is not a Phyrexian now. So we will go ahead and play our tap land. Just so that we have access. Because if this becomes a Phyrexian on our upkeep, we'll play it. I wonder if he's just going zombies. Uh, yeah, he's going with zombies. He's going with a zombie strategy. And this is a Phyrexian. So, let's see what we get here. Um, I think we go ahead and play... I think we have to go ahead and play this, right? So that we can play this guy out. Because we need a way to block his Phyrexian. So that we're not taking... Gets off the Phyrexian. Because this is... And it has Death Touch. That sucks. <laughs> I 
Now, I actually think I could handle taking a hit off this Phyrexian and block here if he doesn't play a zombie beforehand. If he just attacks. I think I can probably block this. Okay, he's going to cut down. Yeah. Alright, so I guess I'm not blocking. Okay. All right, let's play this, and I guess we're going to play my 1-1 one, one out. It's not a Phyrexian. Right, he's got a Phyrexian Knight now. All right, I have to just block with the 1-1. One, one. All right, so let's play this, and I think we pass turn, and we Urtai to kill one of his creatures when he attacks. Yeah, I think that's what we do. It's missed a land drop a couple times here. That is another Phyrexian. We are in some trouble here because we are not... Alright, so we will play Urtai. And we will kill the Menace Guy. Destroying the Menace Guy. And then we'll block this one. And hopefully I didn't just let him draw a land or a one mana kill spell. I think the other one mana kill spells are sorceries. So. Yeah, and we will have to block the Tainted Adversary so that we don't get another Poison Counter. And he did. He has that. Yeah. That sucks. We might actually die from damage as opposed to taking Poison Counters. Which would really blow. Alright, so let's make a 2-3. Yeah, I think we're probably just dead here. He's probably going to have another kill spell to kill this, and he's going to hit me for two Phyrexians, which is going to give me eight counters. And then I'm just going to be dead, probably. Yeah, he's going to take a card out of my hand. I got the black filing. Okay. Alright, so I think I have to block here. Because I can at least kill that Phyrexian. So I am at three. Alright, so we are going to... I think we make another two, three. And then we're going to cast this one and we're going to destroy that one all right so we might be able to stabilize here might we can now double block this if we need to So, yeah, we'll double block. So we got to get that off the board. All right, so we're going to cast this Defiler. Let's say no attacks. Um, actually, let's cast this. Uh, no, cancel. I don't want really, I don't want to spend life on that. I can cast both these next turn and give all my creatures plus.
plus one plus one and menace. And this is a Phyrexian, Phyrexian, not a Phyrexian. Uh, so I can attack for four life leak in the air next turn and actually gain a little bit of life. Which would be nice. Or potentially draw a kill spell to kill this thing and get it off the board. So he's going to exploit. So does he exploit this? Alright. So he draws two cards and loses two life. Unless he wants to let me draw two cards. I doubt it. Alright, so that is now a 4 4. Curse Bound Witch, that's an annoying card. So, does he attack with his 4 4? Because, I mean, if I draw a kill spell, I'm just going to kill that thing. That's, I mean. Alright, so we will chump block. Because I can't take damage right now. Oh, that's annoying. He gets a 2-2 two -two whenever my creature's at to. That's stupid. All right. Um, let's see. What all do I have in my graveyard? Do I have any two-mana creatures? No. Um, and that's only if it's kicking. I don't have red right now. Yeah, I do actually have red. Um, then they have to be sacrificed. Um, okay, so I think we play... I think we play this. Casting it. Tapping for black this. Um, plus one, plus one, and life and menace. Then I think we play. I think we play this and use the Phyrexian mana. Give this plus one, plus one as well. So then we'll attack, and we'll gain four. So we paid two life to gain four. But we still have black mana available to give this death touch. So we'll end turn there. So we gain four life back. This is not Phyrexian. This is Phyrexian. But I can block and kill it with this. I can block and kill that with that. Yeah. So we might be OK. This only happens if one or more. OK. What does this one do? Um, you know, combat on your turn. Each player sacrifices a creature. That's what he's gonna. Yeah, that's what he's gonna choose. I mean, I don't know why he would do that. Yeah. And of course, he's gonna sacrifice the one that lets him draft a card. Um. I think I have to sacrifice this one. So I get to scry. Uh, we'll keep the death touch creature on top. It's flying and it's death touch. So he gets another zombie. He gets to draft a card. Yeah, I need to draw some kill spells. Oh my, I haven't even drawn this. I've drawn one kill spell so far. This is technically a kill spell, but I mean. Yeah, so I've drawn one kill spell out of my deck. And he took my Urtai out of my hand, I think, didn't he? Yeah, he discarded. No, he discarded the Blue Defiler is what he discarded. I had to cast Urtai. And then I think he killed Urtai. Yeah. Um, I could kick this. What's on my graveyard I could bring back? 
It's, let's see, how does it phrase it? Uh, target creature with mana by three or less. Okay, so it's got mana by three or less that I could bring back. That would be good. Um, don't really have anything mana by three or less right now. That would be good. I think I'm just going to cast this. Um, sure, why not? I'm not attacking with it anyway. All right. So, we are behind. We have this with Death Touch. This I can give Death Touch. So, we have six poison counters. This, luckily... Oh no, it is a Phyrexian. Crap. When it flips, I think it is not a Phyrexian when it flips, though, is it? Or is it still? Hmm. Yeah, it is a Phyrexian. Alright. All right, so we will block and block. Yeah, I think I have to block that as one of those as well. I don't think I can take hits off of those as well. All right, so we are going to give this death touch. So that can kill his flyer there. He gets to make another 2 2. I get to scry twice though. Um, yeah, I guess I'll take that. Or would I rather have something else? It is a creature. It is a Phyrexian. Yeah, we'll take it. <laughs> That's a little annoying. It has menace. That's why he wanted to get one of my flying creatures off the battlefield. He's going to put that back on top. Yep. All right, I tell you what, we're just going to go ahead and concede this one. We, we lost that match. We got severely short on lands and had the mulligan, and then he had kill spells and ways to do things that just kind of kept us from doing what we wanted. So, All right, so that's the first loss we've had. So let's go ahead and go to another game and see if we can get this fourth win. Because you get two losses. So... If we lose this one, then we're done with the event. We only had three wins, but still. Mm. Well, we don't have any creatures. But we do have ways to kill things. I think we're going to keep it. It's not a great hand, but we're on the draw. We'll see what happens here. If this is the same person that I just played, it's going to be really annoying. Okay, so we do have a creature to play. Uh, but I think we're going to wait and see if, let him become a Phyrexian next turn. Because it's the only creature in my hand, so he will have to be a Phyrexian. Because a random creature in your hand becomes Phyrexian, and I have no other creatures in my hand. So, Alright, so we will play him. Does he have a counter spell? No. Okay. So then we'll pass... And then next turn, this will become a Phyrexian because it's the only creature in my hand. Unless he bounces this back to my hand. But even if he does bounce this, it's already a Phyrexian, so it would become a... I think it would still be this. So I can potentially play this next turn and kill one of his creatures. 
All right, so he's going to play that. He's going to get the token, which is fine. We'll let that resolve, and then we will cut that down. All right, so that becomes Phyrexian. We will play that. We'll attack. Target creature. In turn. So we now have two Phyrexians, and we will have mana next turn to kill a creature if he has a creature. Or we could just make him unblockable. Let's see, two, one, yeah, we'll just kill that. Do we destroy it or exile it? Uh, I think it's both destroy it either way, so. We'll destroy it and we'll get a charger token. That's fine. Alright, so we'll attack. We'll say this. Don't have the mana to pay for it. Alright, so he's got six poison counters now. Mills one. Um, sure, we'll keep that. If he plays a creature, we can cast that to tap the creature down so he doesn't have a blocker. And then we can kill the Mirror Breaker with this. And he's going to take all my creatures out. You suck, dude. You suck. All right. So we are going to play this, and I think, yeah, we go ahead and do this. We sack our treasure token to do this, because we get a Phyrexian back. Um, let's go ahead and take this one. Attack, target him. Does one, so trigger. They mill one, I scry one, we'll keep that on top. And then we'll enter. So he now has eight, and I have a way to kill something if he has a creature. If he has more than one creature, I don't have a way to deal, kill two creatures, but I do have a way to tap a creature down, potentially. So, so what, I think we're going to just try to tap the creature down. All right, he is going to kill my guy. That's fine. So trigger. And then we're going to kill her. All right. So this is a Phyrexian for next turn. So this will do the last damage unless he has a way to kill it. This will become a Phyrexian on my turn. I'm not stupid enough to block, dude. No blocks. I don't care about life totals. All I care about is poison counters. Yeah, life totals don't matter at this point. All that matters is poison counters, and you're dead. All right, so we got there. Yeah, so I think the, the blue-black flying is a good way to go, having a bunch of creatures that are already Phyrexians. It's a little annoying that it will make a Phyrexian into a Phyrexian when it's already a Phyrexian. It should choose a creature that's not a Phyrexian. But, um, so we won, so let's claim our prize and see what we get. All right, so we got some card styles. Let's see, we got... Um, Ellis Hill Core, we got Shelbert, and we got Stan. Hmm. Okay, so we got three card styles, it's not bad. Um, let's see. It says this is the list of card styles. Alright. Alright, well. So, 
yeah, that went pretty good. Um, like I say, I'll post a deck list in the comments. Um, so if you want to try this event and try the same deck, uh, maybe do a little reworking of it if you feel like there's something different that you might want to do. Um, but like I say, I think blue black with flying and kill spells is a good way to go in this event because you're just trying to be evasive and you want to try to get the damage in and get it in quick. So if you can play like a one drop for X E and you know it flies, uh, potential for them to have a way to block it on turn two is not you know real high. So uh, if you have kill spells to back that up, so if they do have ways to block your flying creatures, that's also good. Um, but yeah, I think this is just pretty good little way to go about this. So we went four and one, pretty good. Hopefully, uh, if you try the deck out, you'll have good luck with it as well. And hope you have a good day. Thanks.